Hi everybody, this is Julie from Mud Pie Jewels, and in this video I would like to share with you a recent um, product that I have made that uh, will be going into my Etsy store. So this started out as some stationery, a stationery that I found in a thrift store that was in excellent condition. It was still in its original container and sealed, and um, I could have used it for the stationery. But you know how it is. I had to cut it up and repurpose it. So that's what I've done. And I have a four um, of these available. Let me hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. But what it is is a set of tags that are within a larger envelope. And then it has some additional die cut embellishments in it. So I have four of them that I made. I will be giving one of them away as my giveaway this week. I try to have a giveaway every week. I'm a little bit behind this week, uh, but this will be my giveaway, one of these items. And so I'll discuss that at the end of the video. And let's look at this one. This is basically the kit. Let's look at the envelope and the tags first. Each embellishment kit will have three different sizes of die cut tags. First of all, there is this envelope here, uh, and this is half of what would normally be a library card envelope. So this is the front, and this is the back. Um, this kit does have a lot of sewing in it. I did use black zigzag sewing, and the inside is black. So there's that. And then you have three large tags. Let me just show you one of them first. So uh, there is sewing on these as well, the zigzag to match the envelope. There is a um, the hole punch protector and a cord on the top of the tag. Each tag has been backed with another sheet of paper, so it gives it some uh, additional stability, makes it more like cardstock. This is, you know, you're just your typical stationery, so it was a little bit flimsy, so I added some extra. Um, support by adding some more paper. The large tags measure two and a half inches by four and three quarters. So there are three of the large tags. Then there are three of the medium sized tags and they are decorated in the same manner with the sewing and uh, the hole protectors and the cord. And these measure two inches by three and three quarters, it looks like. And then there are three of the small tags. These are designed, of course, the same way. And these measure one and a half by three and a quarter. So those are your tags. And then I made these additional pieces. Uh, these were just some additional edges of the stationery. Uh, and I cut um, varying, varying lengths of these and embellished them further by adding the black thread in a zigzag pattern. There's the back. All right, so that is what comes within the um, within the library card envelopes. Let me move those up for a second and show you what else you'll get in the kit. You'll get some flowers that also match um, the decorations or the color scheme of these other uh, tags. And there are three different sizes, so you'll get one, two, three of the large flowers three of the medium size flowers, and then uh, quite a few, I think there are five probably, of the smaller flowers. And uh, so you could, of course, put these on the tags, and um, they look really pretty by themselves, or you could stack them however you wanted to do it. I'm going to leave that up to you. I thought about decorating the tags with these, but then I thought, no, you, you might have a different idea of what looks good. So there are those. 
and they are just die cuts made from the stationary paper. And in order to give it some variety, I did use some paint chip samples to uh, cut out some additional flowers. So there we have those. And then in addition, I have some more items for you to decorate with. So let's say that you're gonna use this in a journal. You might. I have included um, some index tabs for you to uh, make tabs on your journal pages. And there is one set of die cuts here that fits perfectly on the tags. And so you could use that to decorate if you chose to use tabs. So there are five of the tabs and enough of those small pieces to put on those. There are also these itty bitty little tags. There are four of those. Aren't they cute? Put those over to the side. Uh, some longer pieces just to play around with. There's several of those. Um, this little odds and ends. And um, there are some additional um, little round pieces that will go in the center of the flowers. I don't see any in this envelope. I'll have to add those in. Um, but that's basically the kit. Uh, so a lot of pieces that uh, if you like this color scheme, it's very bright. It looks like it's leopard skin and zebra stripes with a lot of black thrown in. And uh, I think this would make just a beautiful, bright journal. Um, and there is enough there to get you started with this color scheme. And then you could add some more of your own to decorate your own journal. So I hope that's interesting to you. If it is, please uh, click the arrow down below and you'll find the link to my Etsy store where you will find three kits that are available. But now in addition, I wanted to talk about the giveaway. Uh, so it is, um, it is July 1st, 2018, and this will be my third giveaway. I was going to make a journal for this week, but I got behind. And so maybe for next week I might do a journal. Um, but this is the giveaway for this week. It will be one kit, one embellishment kit, and the rules are very simple. All that I ask is that you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And um, I think uh, in order to make this fun, I'm probably going to do this very quickly since it is 4th of July weekend. I think I'll probably close out this giveaway on July 4th at midnight. I know a lot of you will be out celebrating July 4th and watching the fireworks. And so make sure you come inside before midnight and enter for this giveaway to get a very bright um, embellishment kit for your next journal. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.